Hello everybody and welcome back to Hobbied. Today we're going to talk about the Traxxas speed controllers, specifically the XL5 and the VXL, as both of these program remarkably the same way. We're going to talk about the error codes, the fixes to those codes, the calibrations, and the profile selections. I'm going to start this video by showing you the difference between a nickel metal hydride battery and a LiPo battery as most of the errors that we see are caused by running the speed controller in the incorrect mode for the battery you're using. This is a nickel metal hydride battery. It features rounded corners, and that's its most prominent difference between the lithium polymer and the nickel metal hydride. You'll also see that printed here is the battery chemistry type, so you can look very easily at your battery and determine which one you have. By comparison, the lithium polymer battery will say LiPo on your battery pack. This will feature square corners. If you're using Traxxas batteries, you'll also see that there is a extra cable or two attached to your power cable. For the error codes, we're gonna show you the most common error code first. We'll plug in this battery pack and power on the system. You'll see the speed controller turn green briefly and then blink slow red. This one turned off. This is indicating that the speed controller is seeing too low of a voltage for the mode that it's set in. If you're using a lithium polymer battery, the slow blinking red light would indicate that it's time to charge your battery. Another common error we see is an alternating red-green blinking. So again, we'll plug our battery pack in. We'll power on our speed controller. It will turn green briefly and then begin blinking red and green alternating. This is indicating to you that the speed controller voltage is too high for the mode that it is in. Both of these errors are created by the same problem. And that problem is that the speed controller is in lithium polymer mode. Unfortunately, you cannot change the settings once it begins flashing this error. So you have to use a middle-level charged battery in order to get the speed controller out of its lithium polymer mode. So we'll do that now. We'll unplug our battery pack. We'll plug in a middle-level charged battery. I'm going to use this lithium polymer battery as an example. Power the speed controller on. And you'll see that the light is powered on with a solid green light. This is indicating to you that the speed controller is in fact in lithium polymer mode. If you get confused, you can look here on the chassis. There's a guide that they put on the chassis for you to help you determine what that color actually means. To change the color and its mode, you simply press and hold the button down, and you wait until the speed controller emits beeps. This can take some time, so be patient. Now you have a solid red light. That solid light is indicating that it is in the correct mode for a nickel metal hydride battery. I'm going to grab my full nickel metal hydride battery and power the system on so you can see now the error code is gone. That is a solution to the two most common errors that we see in the Traxxas speed controllers. The next error code I'd like to show you is a rapidly blinking green light. We'll power the system off, we'll power the system back on, and you'll see the rapidly blinking green light. What I'm doing to create this problem is I'm actually holding the throttle on the controller. If I release the throttle, you'll see the speed controller will come back on. The solution to this problem is very simple. We'll power on the speed controller, but we'll remain holding down the set button. We'll release it when the light turns red. After the light blinks, you'll pull the throttle. The light will blink again. Push full reverse, the light will turn green. Release and the system will come on and be ready to use. That is the solution to the rapidly blinking green light. The last error code that I cannot show you is a rapidly blinking red light. The rapidly blinking red light indicates the system is overheated. And it's time to let that cool. By purposefully overheating the speed controller to show you that light would be foolish as it would potentially damage our speed controller. So naturally we're not going to do that. I 
Another feature that is offered in the Traxxas Speed Controllers is their profile selections. These profile selections will allow you to do full throttle, full reverse, no reverse, and training mode. Training mode is the most useful of the features, as if you have a beginner driver that you do not want to crash the vehicle, you can set it up in training mode. So I'll show you how to do that now. You'll hold the button just like we were calibrating, but we'll keep holding it. Green, red, and then the light will turn out. One bleak is indicating 100% mode, two blinks is no reverse, and three blinks is training mode. If we release after that third blink, that will set the speed controller into training mode. If we wish to remove it from training mode, we will simply power the speed controller off, hold down the set button again, green, red, off. One blink is 100% mode, so release there. If you get confused and you miss your setting, just continue holding the set button. So we'll hold it, green, red, off, one blink, two blinks, three blinks. And it will cycle through. One blink is 100% mode, two blinks is no reverse, three blinks is training mode. Well, that's it. That's all you have to do to calibrate the Traxxas Speed Controller, to program the Traxxas Speed Controller, and to solve the error codes within the Traxxas Speed Controller. Hopefully this will get your car back on the road. Now one last tip before we go. We cannot stress enough that you properly set up your speed controller for your chosen battery. By programming this speed controller into nickel metal hydride and plugging a lithium battery into it, we potentially risk overdraining the battery and permanently damaging it. So always verify the color of this light before you go drive. If you have a lithium polymer battery, make sure that light is in the green color. If this video has benefited you, please consider subscribing so we can do more of these videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.